Hello everybody, I want to thank my friend Martin for the inspiration for this video series. It will cover the first week of onboarding and be divided into three parts. The first week is really about assessing your driving skills and your ability to follow instructions. Many of you might think that Walmart is a pushover that this is just like any other trucking job. This is simply not true. The transportation side of Walmart holds an extremely high level of experience. This is one of the most premier truck driving jobs in the world. If you have been given a conditional job offer and an invitation to attend an onboarding event, I suggest you handle this as if you got a job offer to be a pilot for American Airlines or Air Force One. When you go to the fleet development facility for evaluations, please remember a few things. It's all about your attitude and desire to work here. Nobody's forcing you to be here. Safety is king. Many trucking companies preach safety, but at Walmart, you're going to be living it. You are not in competition with the other people in your class. There is a job available for each one of you. I suggest you have a clean mind focused on the task at hand. Try not to miss any class time or instruction. It could be the difference between a pass or fail. Choose bathroom and smoke breaks very carefully. Act like a professional. Arrogance and argumentative behavior may not work out well for you. Pre-trip inspections are one of the first evaluations you will partake in. You may want to look at your state commercial driver handbook for pre-trip inspection items prior to onboarding. There are also plenty of other sources for inspection lists, so I'm not going to cover them here. The certified driver trainers will assess your current knowledge and explain exactly what they want included on your pre-trip inspections. You might be penalized for missing certain inspection items, but you don't get extra credit for things they didn't include. I suggest watching my video part 6 testing your driving, backing, and inspection skills for more information about the onboarding process. It has some tips to help shorten up and simplify the words used so that you don't run long on your pre-trip. I also suggest watching my video part 6.1, testing your inspection skills. It may help you get your mind around looking at different things. Even though this process can be very stressful, please try and enjoy yourself and have some fun. You're going to find that some of these people sharing the same experience may become new friends. Please watch the second video of this three-part series. I will cover a few pointers for your backing exercises. Please subscribe and stay tuned. Thank you.